ऑनरेबल मेंबर श्रीमती चिंता अनुराधा जी चिंता या प्लीज Mike, Mike. Thank you, Chairman, yes. sir. Please. For allow me to speak on this bill, the public examinations, prevention of unfair means. Sir, the, the bill is a much needed law and was much awaited by crores of youth who have suffered due to paper leaks, especially in job recruitment loop, uh, leaks. Without taking names of states that have, been, that have seen such leaks, it can be safely said that this law would deter further leaks as a specific law to punish the wrongdoers which was missing. So there are a few positive things in this, sir. I would like to point out promotion of transparency and fairness. The bill is designed to increase the transparency, fairness, and credibility of public examination system. This ensures that the hard work and genuine efforts of the candidates are rightly acknowledged and rewarded, thereby safeguarding their future prospects. Model for state, ad state adoption. The bill serves as a model draft for states, offering them the discretion to ad adopt its provisions. This helps in establishing a uniform approach to tackle malpra malpractices in public examinations across different states and prevent disruption in state-level public examinations. Deterrence against unfair practices. Section 10 of the bill, by punishing any person resorting to unfair means and offenses to be punished with imprisonment of three to five years and a fine of 10 lakh, effectively deters individuals organized groups or institutions indulging in unfair means, thereby protecting the integrity of the public examination systems. It ensures that those who seek to exploit the vulnerabilities of the examination system of, for monetary or wrongful gains are legally discouraged and held accountable. So suggestions from a party are, why is a candidate given immunity from the bill if he indulges in malpractices that lead to the examination process being vitated? The bill mentions that a candidate shall not be liable for action within the purview of the bill. I would be happy if the Honorable Minister could clarify this limitation of the functioning of the bill if the candidate is a wrongdoer. Secondly, the bill's implementation might require significant financial and human resources, raising concerns about its practicality and effectiveness, especially in rural or resource-limited settings. Has the Honorable Minister made a plan on ensuring that such limitations of resources do not limit the effectiveness of the bill? The requirement for states to adopt similar legislation could lead to inconsistencies in application and enforcement, potentially creating disparities in the examination systems across different regions. Does the Honorable Minister plan on asking the UPSC to engage with the states in helping them out in enforcing the provisions of the bill? Sir, in conclusion, the Public Examination Prevention of Unfair Means Bill 2024 represents a pivotal stride towards ensuring integri integrity and fairness in public examination systems. However, the bill does not raise certain concerns that merit further clarification and planning. The exemption of candidates from punitive measures, even when involved in malpractices, needs more clarity to ensure that the law is comprehensive and leaves no room for exploitation. Within the right measures and continued oversight, this bill has the potential to significantly enhance the credibility of our public examination systems fostering a more just and merit-based society. Sir, in Andhra Pradesh too, the government has taken strict action against people who indulge in leaking exam papers of class 10 at Narayana School in Turpati. Our Honorable CM, Sir, CM Sri Vyas Jaganmoharadi Garu, has always taken the strongest action against such forms of corruption, corruption ir irregularities, and other criminal activities. Sir, with these suggestions and comments, I support the bill on behalf of my Vice President. Thank you. Honorable Member Sri Rahul Shewali.